In preparation for creating a project that will include Google Maps, you have to make sure that we include the Google API. So to go about doing this, I'm going to create a new project and I'm just going to call it Google Maps. And then when we select our target, you need to make sure that you choose one of the Google APIs. And you can choose the Google API appropriate for the particular platform that you are developing for. So in this case, this would be for 2.2, 2.3.3, and as we go up. Now, if you get this far, but you don't have any Google API to choose from, or you want a different one for a particular platform, I'm going to cancel out of this. And what you can do is go into your SDK Manager. And in our SDK Manager, remember this shows you what platforms you have installed and features and then what you have available to install. So you want to choose the platform and then also make sure that the Google API for that particular platform is installed. If not, then you can check it off and then install it then it will show back up when you are creating your project. So I'm going to close this and I'm just going to go back in and create my project again. And I'm going to choose the, the Google APIs 2.3.3. And I'm going to give my package name and then click Finish. Now I want to point over here into the Package Explorer that we can see our Google APIs and if I expand this out, you can see that we do have the maps jar file, which will give us access to the different macros and add-ons that we need in order to work with our maps. So that's the first step, is making sure you have that. Uh, without that, you won't be able to access the Google Maps. Next, we'll look at obtaining a Maps API key from Google. So we need to apply for a free Google Maps API key before we can put our maps into our Android application. So I'm going to go to the Google Maps page. And this gives you the instructions and uh, the place where we can go to get our API key. Now, first thing we need to do is to get the location of our key store, and then we need to get our MD5 certificate fingerprint. You also need to have a free Google account, so if you don't have an account with Google, you'll need to set that up before you're able to get your API key. Now I'm going to demonstrate doing this. It's on a Mac. So here they start with, you should be going into a command prompt or terminal on the Mac, and we're going to be typing this in in order to access our uh, certificate, our MD5 certificate. But we need to know where the location of your key store is on your computer. And to find that out, I'm going to go back into Eclipse. And in Eclipse, I'm going to go to Eclipse and Preferences on the Mac. And in Windows, you're going to go to Window and then look for Preferences there. So in either case, you're going to go to your Preferences. Once you're in Preferences, you want to expand the Android section, and you want to click on the Build option. And then from there, you should see your default key store. So what I'm going to do is copy this, because I'm going to be using it in my command prompt or in my terminal program. So I'm going to copy that location, and then I'm just going to click OK to move out of here. Next, I'm going to go back into our Android, our Google Maps website. And so it has the code or what we need to type in to get to this certificate. So the next thing to do is to open up your command prompt, or again, on Mac, it's terminal. And I'm going to follow the instructions for what it says to type in here. So I can see I already have my dollar sign symbol. So I'm just going to start typing with key tool, list, key store, space, and then I'm going to paste in the location of where my key store is. And then I'm going to press enter. And now it asks for a key store password. Just type in Android. Now on my Mac terminal, it's not, it doesn't look like it's typing anything in, but I did type in the password. And now I press enter, and so it has my information in here, and here's my certificate footprint. And this is what I want to copy, because I'm going to have to paste that in down here. 
So I'm going to copy this. Now you should read through the terms of service because it does explicitly state what you're allowed and not allowed to do with this. And since this is just a demo, I'm going to choose OK. I've read the terms and agreements and this is my MD5 certificate. So I have that pasted in and I'm going to generate an API key. So that worked successfully. And so here's my key. Now the key that we have for this is only good for the development of this application. You would need to go through this process again when you're signing your app in order to publish it onto one of the markets. So this is a certificate that's good for the development purposes. And if you look here, you can see that they even give you some example XML layout code that we can copy and paste in. And it is using my specific key. So I'm going to copy this, but I'm going to keep it open just in case something happens. I'm going to keep that, and then I'm going to just copy and go back into Eclipse. And then we're going to set up our application to be able to use this key and to display a map. So we have to set up the Android manifest file. I'm going to open that and I'm just going to go right into the XML. And then before my activity, I'm going to add in that it uses the library and the Android name is com.google.android.maps. And then right before the closing manifest, I'm going to put in the permission. So we'll say uses permission and we need the internet. So I'm going to just scroll down here and find internet. And there we have our manifest file set up. Okay, next I'm going to go into the main XML and we'll go to the XML view and just come in here. I'm going to paste in the code that I copied from setting up my API key and I'm going to look at the graphical layout version of this and you can see our map view is here. We still have a missing style but let's get everything else to work first. And next I'm going to go into my Java file, my main Java file, and we're going to set this up so that it's going to import the map activity from Google. And instead of extending activity, this is going to extend the map activity. Now when I do that, I have unimplemented methods and there is um, an is root displayed method that is required. So by adding that, it will add it in down here for us. And this will automatically display a root on the map. We're going to return false so it doesn't and then later on when you're working with your map you can turn that on by changing that to return true. Okay, so I'm ready to test this out. Alright, so we have a map. Success! So we were able to create a project that used the Google API. We got a map API key from Google and then we displayed the map in our activity. So look for the other video tutorials on how to take this some steps further with being able to zoom in and zoom out and display certain locations.